Islay, situated in the northwest of British Isles, can be called an island of luck. You can't find a place where they talk about distilling with more inspiration than here. A long time ago, the Scot came here to escape from British tax officials, and brought here barley and distilling devices, and started business that has been maintaining their families for more than 300 years. Malt, converted barley, became the basis for a new drink, which to this very day has been known all around the world as Scotch whiskey. As home brewing is the only industry here, British guidebooks call Islay an island of whiskey. Ten large-scale and small whiskey distilleries don't only provide local population with money and workplaces, but what is more important with the constant inflow of tourists, who are treated here with such respect that, first of all, they can easily enter any production any time of day and night without permission. Ah, what a smell! And second, have fun in swimming pools filled with water warmed up during the distilling process. Hot water is used to warm up the pool, which is situated across the road. We try to make good use of everything here. Sorry, I just thought you were swimming in whiskey. Bomo is one of the few companies which let the guests not only observe the production process but even reside at the distillery in specially appointed cottages with sea scene from the windows. By the way, in wintertime it is quite windy here. Can you hear the generator? They have to heat. And to say these words I had to come outside and my cameraman stayed in the room to make some tea. Misha, is it ready? Чай готов, Миша? Isabel McTaggart, a visiting center manager, is responsible for the visitor's mood. To our cameraman's delight, she took us to the stock where containers with legendary Bomo whiskey are held. Isabel says that behind this door they keep 30 and 40 years old or even older barrels of whiskey. This is the oldest barrel here, is placed here in 1957. And how much does this barrel cost? About 5,000 pounds. It's something like $10,000 for a bottle? Yeah, oh, not a cheap pleasure. And what did you expect? It's older than you. As a matter of fact, the legendary drink is kept in Spanish sherry or American bourbon barrels. The color and the blend of smells are given by wood and the rest is given by barley and love of the Scotland. It's a barrel of 11 years old whiskey. During all these years it has been kept in a sherry barrel, that's why its color is so dark. According to experts, the aftertaste of whiskey is formed by wood, but its tone depends on climate, water and closeness to the sea and, of course, Scotland's peat, which is used to dry malt only here on Islay. One of the most unusual whiskey brands, Laphroaig, even stresses that the surprisingly sharp and smoked taste characterizing its product is given by Islay's special peat and smoking technologies. And here is our main ingredient. There are two or three different types of peat. The upper one with woods doesn't decompose much, so it gives much smoke. And that gives whiskey such an unusual taste? When I first tried this sort of whiskey, it reminded me of some medicine. But if you try it time and again, you become to like it more and more. How can you explain this phenomenon? Yes, most people have the same reaction if they haven't tasted before. Oh, what a Mac! But we persuade them not to be that excited and try again, adding some water, for example. This is how one gets used to this taste. John Campbell, Lafrock company manager, adds that this taste seems to him rather smooth because he has been accustomed to whiskey since his childhood. When I was a child, we lived near a distillery. My mother used to add some whiskey to my evening milk to help me fall asleep. It is some kind of tradition here. Late in the evening, we reach the next point of our interesting expedition. It's called Art Bag. Even at nights, they never stop distilling processes here. In spite of the end of the working day and the local party, the manager of this distillery, Jackie, shows us some true feminine passion for whiskey and gives us a lesson of Scottish love poetry, the degustation of the drink. The climate influences on your choice and style of drinking. In comparison with Portugal and Venezuela, we drink in a different way because we're Northern Europeans. We can be compared to the Russians. But let me advise you, do not get drunk. Just put some water in your whiskey. 
A drop of water in Jackie's opinion will only create some additional tone. Due to heat evolution, its color becomes brighter, but ice and cola can distort it beyond recognition. Anyhow, only drinking pure whiskey you can reach the whales the artback ship is following, the depth, the strength and the balance of taste. It's really strong and sharp. Let's take the latest achievement of Artbag, its blend of three best types. It has a wonderful name, Iron Beast. Can you pronounce it? Iron Beast. I can. It might be the best poem about whiskey, even better than the one by Burns. Absolutely, because it's written by my heart. I think whiskey is the only performance in the world that always is worth to look at. In a small town called Kilhoman, the farm distillery of the same name produces whiskey which nobody has tasted yet. The youngest and smallest distillery of Scotland was born deep in the heart of the Islay Island, next to the ordinary farm. The first proportion of its production will be bottled only in the end of 2008. Anthony Wills, the founder and managing director, is given as an interview operating the distilling process. I'm not saying that we're going to age whiskey for 10 or 12 years. We'll be bottling some proportions of younger drinks. Oh hell, I have only 5 minutes left. Step aside guys, I have to see the clock. For whiskey lovers, visiting Antony is also one of the most important parts of the trip, because it's the only place in Scotland where they can try whiskey coming out directly from the still. To tell the truth, it's strictly prohibited to let guests try it, but Will says he gives his guests not alcohol, but souvenirs. In this blue cardboard cylinder there is some 64 degree and higher strong medicine for your nerves. Kevin, a stock worker we've noticed before, told us confidentially that local guys like to cure cold in old-fashioned way. It's strong enough, it should be poured in the barrels. Uh, guys, I cannot do it in front of the camera, sorry. Oh, wait, wait, the islanders must be very strong to drink such a thing. Can you drink it for us? Try it. can't believe it. I can't believe he has just drunk 73% strong alcohol. And how often do you do that, Kevin? Just maybe once or twice. Maybe once or twice a day? No, a week. You can't drive a car if you're drunk. Just only a sip to get myself into a good mood. If there is so much whiskey on the island that one have to choose, the climate is the same for everybody. Rain and wind in winter is something common. The most popular joke on the local radio station is don't go to the seaside, it's draughty there. When the Scots ask you to take an umbrella, they are not joking and not trying to be polite. The weather on the island is so bad that my cameraman even doesn't want to leave the car to shoot this monologue. But I have to stay out in the rain alone. Well, are you going to sit here forever? Let's go. In Scotland, whiskey is taxable since the moment when it is poured in a bottle. Until this moment, alcohol is the official property of the English government and is forbidden to use. The legendary company Buna Haben staff is forbidden to bring glasses and cups in the desolation hall even by pure accident because of this wash. This is initial product for whiskey. It resembles strong beer. This wash contains about 8% of alcohol. I was told that a lot of people here like this drink. Yes, they do, but probably I'm too old for it. It smells terrifically. <laughs> but George Jameson, spirit distillation operator, doesn't complain that there is no direct contact with alcohol and wash at the automatic distillation station. Even the distillatory box is sealed by the tax inspectorate. You can look, but you cannot taste it. I don't like wash, whiskey or nothing. That's my motto. If I don't drink whiskey for two weeks, I suffer it. That's why I prefer the, the mild whiskies. And, and what about your family, your daughter and wife? Do they also suffer without whiskey? No, my daughter has completely forgotten the tradition. She prefers vodka. Unfortunately. <laughs> Manager John McLeila says that after distillation whiskey is poured in port or sherry barrels especially bought for this purposes, whiskey is being kept in barrels for decades and only after that it can go on sale.
During each year, about two percent of whiskey held in barrels evaporates. You can count up how many percents will be left after forty years. That's why its quality grows terrifically, and its price grows too. Oh, a price gives a good jump. <laughs> Leaving Isle is more difficult than arriving here, but on our departure morning the endless rain stops for a while. While the plane ascends, we are thinking about the islanders hurrying for their tea, go fishing, shopping or visiting church. In the house which the bomber producers offered us to live in, we left a note, forever yours, the third channel crew. Andrei Antonov, Sergei Nadezhdin and Mikhail Nikitin, Scotland, Isle Island. Sergei Nadezhdin and Mikhail Nikitin, Scotland, Island.